Now, can we pick up this win and get to 12 wins, or will we fall short, lacking the clutch gene to actually get the W here, guys? Find out in just a second. Gotta go now, gotta go, swerving in my whip, can't slow down. Driving fast because, boy, I'm on the road now. Automatic star, my just take a call. Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back to the Rose Session Central. I'm the Nigerian Nemesis, and in today's video, we're going to be having a look at a 3.1 graveyard cycle deck and try to get to 12 wins with it because this deck is very, very strong and it has a lot of control on the field. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Let's get right into today's video. So check it out, guys. 3.1 Elixir. And right off the bat, you can see we have four spells in this deck with the Log, Poison, Graveyard, and the Tornado. So a lot of spells means you've got to be very smart and use them at the right time. Otherwise, you could get out, caught out in the wrong situations. And then on defense, we have the Ice Wizard, a Mega Minion, and as well as the Tombstone. Tombstone, a very good defensive card, distracting a lot of cards, and spawning little skeletons to help us out on defense. And then we have the Ice Golem, very good for kiting, and very good for tanking for our graveyard. So it's going to be a lot of fun. As you can see right here in this, we are 10 and 2. So we're going to try our best to get to 12 wins. And a really quick announcement, I am actually going to be releasing my merch right now, right here, right now. So by the time you guys are watching this video, the merch shop is open and the reason why I'm doing it is because within the next three days they're doing 20% off across the entire spread shirt shop so make sure you guys if you do ever want to plan on buying any of these shirts do it in the next three days so you can get that 20% off I believe the t-shirts will be down to either 15 or 16 dollars so it's a really good price for you really good chance for you guys to get these t-shirts so if you are planning on getting whatever it is t-shirts hoodies I'll put pictures and stuff like that on the screen there's a lot of different things in the shop Go ahead and get it now while you have that 20% discount. But here we go, guys, hopping right into the first battle with the Graveyard Cycle. Let's see if we can actually get to our 12th win. So here we go. We've got the Tombstone Ice Golem Ice uh, Wizard and, of course, the Log here in the starting hand. So we're going to try and get down our Tombstone on the same side as his troops. But unfortunately, he is going to start off with an Elixir Collector. So what we're going to do now... Okay, he's actually going to go very aggressive. I'm surprised by that play, guys. We'll go Ice Wizard. Oh, we didn't let the Baby Dragon cross the bridge. So big mistakes made early on in the game already. Let's see if we can at least get a good graveyard off onto this tower. I don't know if that was the right tile placement. Poison is ready to go for the Collector. Hopefully catching some of these goblins in here as well. And hopefully we get a little bit of damage. We're going to catch the Mega Minion in there too. So that's not too bad, guys. That's going to take it all down. Deny him a little bit of Elixir, but he's already back to another Collector. And we really didn't do that much in the first push. Our biggest mistake there was not having the Ice Wizard in that push. The Ice Wizard should have been in the back more. We should have sacrificed the Tombstone, and then we would have gotten the Ice Wizard on the offensive push. But either way, guys, I think we're running up against a Golem deck. So we've got to get prepared for that now. And hopefully we can defend against this. Tombstone going down in the back. Here comes the Golem. We've got the Nato. We've got the Ice Wizard. All these amazing things. We could go for an offensive push here with a Ice Golem Graveyard on the opposite lane. To try and force him to split Elixir. That could be a decent play. And it helps us deny a little bit of Elixir. Especially since he just played that Lightning there. Oh my word, boys. Worst Graveyard placement. We're definitely activating that King Tower. No doubt about it. We're actually going to use our Tornado to activate his King Tower as well. But either way, guys, I don't know how I feel about this right now. We're going to go ahead and drag this over. And then go with a Mega Minion. I'm okay with taking some damage from the Baby Dragon as long as we keep our tower alive for the most part. And we're going to go with an Ice Wizard over here to get take some damage from his Mega Minion. And then we'll be able to take his out. But this is a very, very sloppy start to the game. My word, boys. Golemite's actually on that tower. And right now he's doing a pretty decent job by using his uh, Goblin. So we've got to defend against that. We've got to try and get down an early Graveyard push. Force him to defend against it before he plays another Golem. And we might be okay in this game. We'll try and figure this out, boys. One by one, we're going to do this thing here. So we're going to go ahead and go straight in with a Ice Golem and with a Graveyard. Throw it on a pre-log. See if we can catch anything in there. We're going to catch no Goblins. I was hoping to catch some Goblins. Unfortunately, the Poison will catch them, though. And the Bats are going to go down. So with the Ice Golem taking, we're going to stack up a few Skeletons on that tower. And we just got to keep on going back in with the Graveyard. 40 seconds left. Does he have enough time to actually get that Golem to our tower? He might, but I think he actually screwed up. So let's try and go on offense once again. We got to keep this going on him. Got to keep it going. Make sure he doesn't have the opportunity to support all this. And, uh, oh my god, it's going to be a close finish, guys. It's going to be a very close finish. He's going to throw down another Lightning. So fair play there, but I think we can hold back all of his troops for the most part and be okay here. So let's just keep defending as well as we possibly can. We'll play the Mega Minion over here. We're actually going to use the Tornado to bring all this over to the center, hopefully to the other lane. Yes, that was my goal right over there, guys. We did a great job at doing that. His Mega Minion is coming in on offense, so we're going to go like this, and then we're going to go with the Ice Golem to block, and we're doing some really uh, decent work, honestly, defensively, but we've got to do a little bit more, just a little bit more to make sure we do win this game. Uh, he just has a Lightning Cycle, so good luck to him on that. 
Um, he's doing a pretty good job of making sure we don't have a tank for our graveyard too. So let's try and get this in here and win this game right now, right now boys. Right now, Poison, Graveyard down. He's going to throw it on a log. We've got to throw it on a log as well. Hopefully, this wins us the game here. If not, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble, guys. Pulling it back. Lightning is going to come down on top of our tower. And a really close finish in a really good game. I could have played that a little bit better in the beginning. But like I said, he played that really well. So let's hop right into game number two and see if we can actually get to this 12 win mark, guys. This deck is very good. I just, I mean, that early push kind of screwed it where I didn't let the Baby Dragon come in. And that's usually how these games end when you are playing this late into a grand challenge. So hopefully we can find an opponent. We'll see what kind of deck we run into. I don't think we'll have any issues with like log bait since we have the log, we have the tornado, try to get the king tower activated. But in these in this late stage, you can't make any mistakes. All of these players are very good once you hit 10 wins. So hopefully we can find a match here. I'll go ahead and cancel that and then see if we can actually get into one. Here we go, boys. Up against Jefferson from Sandstorm. Maybe I should have practiced a little bit more, but we'll see. I think we can get this here. Tombstone's a great card, so let's see what he decides to play. And we'll try to get our Tombstone down the same lane. And here we go. He's not going to play any cards. He's got a Princess, so here we go. We are playing a Log Bait. Having Log in this deck is a very good thing. He has Goblin Gang to stop us on defense. So it's going to be a little bit rough, but I think we're going to be okay anyways. Let's go with an Ice Golem in the back. And then, oh, not Log Bait. I think that's Mortar Bait, actually. Maybe even, no, okay, so we're just going to log this down. We don't want to have to deal with any of that. And the bats won't be that big of an issue. They'll get taken out. These skeletons will distract them for a decent amount of time, too. We're going to see if we can get our King Tower activated. I don't know if that's the right spot for it. It is not, guys. So we are not going to get the King Tower activated, unfortunately for us. And he is back to another one of those princesses. Hopefully the skeletons actually take her out. Oh, well done. Skeletons will not take her out. I'll get one shot off over here. But the Mega Minion will do a pretty decent job. He's going to do a great job blocking there, too. So, wow. He's playing this game perfectly right now at the start. Hmm. We'll go with a Tombstone over here in the center. The Princess is going to take it out immediately. But that one Skeleton, that one Larry might be able to get her taken down. He will not. He will get logged away. So, unfortunate for him. He's got a couple of friends now coming to the scene. Hopefully, they can take her out. I don't want to have to use a log here. Please take her out. <laughs> Log going down. We didn't have any other choice, boys. Now he's going to bring out a uh, nice... Well, that. That works out well for him. So we'll go like this with a NATO. Mega Minion to help us try and mitigate as much damage as possible. We're going to take a little bit of damage there, guys. Not the best thing in the world. Do we have enough to get a Graveyard push? Jeez. Jeez. Well, we have to go with a Log here. So he's doing a really good job keeping up the pressure. Ice Wizard is alive. Now we've got to make sure we save our Log for that Goblin Barrel. Make him rocking us out for the rest of the game. But other than that, it's going to be a long one here, boys. He might go for some, uh, another graveyard. Or another, what is it called? Another log? Another log. Another barrel, guys. So this is not the original log bait. It is a bait deck, and I'm really actually interested in it. Miner's going to do some damage there. Hopefully, he does not actually have the rocket in this deck. Otherwise, we're going to be in big trouble. But I think we can defend really well if we play this right. So it's time for us to go on offense here with a graveyard. And then we'll get down the poison right over here. He already knew that was coming, so he played the bat. He has the mini horde in this deck. Best counter to our graveyard. Luckily for us, he played it up at the bridge. This might be our opportunity to get some damage off. And we'll go with an ice wizard defensive. They get ready with our log and all that good stuff in a second. And by having that, I don't believe he has a graveyard or a rocket in this deck. So hopefully the Mega Mini can get rid of both of these guys over here. That'd be really good, but it looks like it will not be able to. So we're gonna have to go with another ice golem over here. And they go with a graveyard. Once again, hopefully we can get this taken care of. Get the job done the right way. We don't want to log the princess. Otherwise, that could do a lot of damage if he throws the goblin barrel. So right now we're looking okay. The game's coming down to the wire. And if he has rocket, we're done for. But I don't believe he's got rocket in this deck over here, guys. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. So we'll just go like this. Go with the miner as well. We could have got the king tower activated. But instead, I opted to go that route. I don't know if that's the best play. We're going to have to eat some damage here as well from the princess. Don't really have much of a choice. And we'll go in with a naked graveyard over here as well as drop off a poison. We're going to have to let the princess just stack up. We don't have much of a choice there, like I said before. And then we'll get back to this tower in a second. Log going down. Are we going to be able to take this tower all the way down to zero? Maybe if we can defend. Will the princess get us taken care of first, though? Oh, yes, go, boys. We're going to pick up that W. Mega Minion is going to come in and swipe that tower down. And that's what I like to see. So a very first close L. Able to beat Young Sandstorm here in the second game. And now we're down to third and final battle. Can we pick up this win and get to 12 wins? Or will we fall short? Lacking the clutch gene to actually get the W here, guys. Find out in just a second. So up against Ali from Ghost Esports. We've got the Ice Golem, Ice Wizard, Tombstone, and the Tornado here in our starting hand. So like I said before, you want to try and start out with the Tombstone. On the same side, they're playing their troops at. Uh, okay, so instead... We'll use a tornado, get the king tower activated over here. So that's going to be a really, really good start to the game. I love playing hog rider. Anytime you have tornado, it's really good playing hog rider decks. 
You can get the King Tower activated right away and then start doing your work from there. Hopefully he's running the Musketeer version because she's not as good at... Oh, Candy Cart. Well then, we can't really quickly take down a Candy Cart. We do have the Mega Minion, which is decent. I don't want to give him too much value by playing our Tombstone early. I think he's going to take his value anyways, but let's try it out, boys. We're going to go to a Tombstone and then try and get our Mega Minion down as soon as possible because I think he's going to use a spell here. He's not going to use anything instead. We'll get this Candy Cart taken out at the bridge, so not too bad, guys. Once again, we do have four spells in this deck, so... If we don't have any use for them, it's going to be rough. We're just going to go with a poison over here. I know it seems like a really, really off place and really bad poison, but it's the best thing we can do in this situation. Is Ice Wizard will probably go down there, and then now we can start slow rolling Ice Golems, and I believe he should know we're running Graveyard at this point. You would think, anyways. We'll go with an Ice Golem and Graveyard push on the opposite lane. Just because he played his Ice Golem in the back, Forbes going to play another card. He's got Candy Cart on defense. Pretty solid, but it shoots kind of slow. Uh, Tornado will get the King Tower activated, so here we go, boys. In the final game, we're going to have to get through an activated King Tower. Luckily, he doesn't have the best counter in the world for our graveyard, though. Ice Wizard going down right on top of the Cannon Cart so it doesn't get to the bridge. And now, or so it doesn't get to our tower. And now, all we have to do is focus in. We've got the tower down to 1797. We can really just, um, let's go with the Tornado. I mean, all you have to do is defend against his Hog Rider with a Tornado. I don't believe he gets any shots off. It does if you don't play it in the right spot, boys. So next time, we'll play a better Tornado. And then continue to go with Ice Golems, Graveyards, and Poisons. To try and win this game over here. Because even with that Tower Activated, with only a Cannon Card, he's still got a long way to go. So let's try and go for this, guys. We're going to go ahead and play this now. Get ready for the Cannon Card and then Poison it all down. So Cannon Card's not going to make an appearance on our side of the map. We're going to have to use a Nado over here. Make sure the Hog Rider doesn't actually get to our Tower. Megan is going to do a great job swiping it down to... Candy Cart does not cross the bridge, so things are looking very good early on in this game. Not too sure if he has a heavy spell. Ooh, speaking of which. Speaking of which, guys. So we're going to have to use our Tombstone. I should have played it in the opposite lane, so that's my bad. And now that Candy's still alive. But I think, I think Graveyards and Poison should do well for us. We're going to miss the Ice Wizard, unfortunately. But let's see if we can catch the Candy Cart. We will not even catch the Candy Cart. Mega Minion going to go down to defend against his Hog Rider. And that's going to be fairly solid. Even with the log coming in, not able to get through it. Right now, it looks like only our poison's doing damage to its tower. So that kind of sucks, but I think we can get this here, guys. I think we can do it. I really do. You just got to believe. You just got to believe. So we'll go with an ice gum over here. Another ice wizard trying to keep this cannon cart away. Right now, staying alive. So good work on his part. We'll go with a graveyard now. And then we'll go ahead and drop off the poison to try and catch the cannon cart or something else he decides to play. Hog is coming in hot, so we do not have the ability. Oh, no. Oh, God. I thought we missed. That would have been really bad. Really bad, guys. Hog is going to get a shot off on that tower, though. Please don't get a second one. No second shot coming down, so that was unfortunate. Didn't Wasn't ready for his log play, so he did a great job there. So we've got to get stuck in here now right away with all this good stuff. Try and get this to the tower. We're doing our best. He just has to rock it. Does a log end it for him? I don't believe it does. And if this tornado doesn't do, do us justice here, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Tombstone going down to block it, guys. Trying to force him to do a little bit more, but I think he's going to snipe down our right tower. So that was unfortunate. He played that really well. Very proud of the man. Good deck. We had him down at 540. Him getting the King Tower activated early in the game really helped him out towards the end there. And he also did a great job uh, putting that offensive pressure with the Hog Rider. But nonetheless, a very good graveyard deck. So I hope you guys give it a try. Let's go ahead and open up this Grand Challenge chest. See if we can get anything nice. We'll get a Flying Machine, Tombstones, Mini Pekka's Furnace, Goblin of Hut, Ice Golem, Ooh, 132 bats. I believe they're already maxed. So we're just going to get a lot of gold out of that. Barbarians, Bombers, no Legendary. We're going to get loads of Skeleton Barrels and 8 Witches. So not too bad for a chest. But you guys should give this deck a try. It's definitely a lot of fun. And it does a pretty decent job against every deck archetype. But if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and smash that like button if you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for some more future daily Clash Royale content. And I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace! This is Exclusive. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up.